Hello Excel friends. So in this video, what we're going to do is perform an exercise to understand how Excel treats blank cells, cells with non-numeric values and zero value cells. And it treats those things a little bit differently. And you want to be aware of that to make sure that you don't have any errors in your worksheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to return to the Facebook worksheet that we were working on in the previous exercise. And I'm just going to highlight the cells from B3 to B9 and do a Command C or on Windows, it would be a Control C. Now, if I want to paste this same column selection down across C, D, and E, I can click in cell C3, drag over to E3, then do a Command V or a Control V on Windows, and it will paste the copied range below all three of these selected cells. Now I'm going to click in cell C4 and I'm going to type in a non-numeric value. I'm going to type in the words 4000. And I can see that I can't actually see the whole word 4000. But if I move my cursor over between the C and the D column, when the cursor becomes this black vertical line with arrows pointing left and right, that will allow me to resize the column. So click and drag over, or if I double click, it will immediately find the largest element in this particular column and spread it out. But notice the real reason why we're doing this is we want to pay attention to how the figures are calculated. And I can see that the count goes down from four to three. So what count is doing is it's actually paying attention to the values that have valid numeric figures in there. And it finds, hey, I've only got three of them here. That's why it shows up as three. My average treats the average for just these three figures. So it ignores what's in here. And similarly, the total does the same thing. Now, if I go over here and I do a backspace over D4, and press enter when I have a cell that has nothing in it even if it's inside of a range that's being used by the formula Excel will ignore that cell so again count comes up with three and I have the same value in D8 and D9 that I did in C8 and C9 now what would happen if I entered a zero into cell E4 so press zero and press enter here and here's something important to be aware of we notice that even though we put a zero value in here the accounting format will actually display the value value zero as a dash. There actually is a zero in there. It's not a dash. So if you ever see the dash and you're using accounting format, be aware that that is actually a zero. And even though the accounting format shows zeros as dashes instead of the actual number zero, I can see this is treated as a value. So that's why I've got four here. And the reason why my average value is so much lower is because it averages this in as a zero value and divides that by the count of four. So again, if your cell has a non-numeric value or if it's blank, inside of a cell range, Excel will treat that cell as if it doesn't exist. But if you have a zero value in there, zero is considered to be a valid number and that will be part of your calculation. Hope that's clear. Keep at it.